Okay, y'all. I've had a shower. We've had breakfast. <laughs> Got a video ready for today. Finalized and all that stuff. Uh, today's going to look a little different because Luke is home. So I'm still going to... I'm still gonna try to vlog. Um, we do plan on doing tie-dye t-shirts later for the 4th of July. So that will be fun. Uh, but other than that, just your typical cooking and cleaning and then the tie-dye t-shirts and then whatever else Luke gets us into. <laughs> He'll lay down uh, eventually to take a nap to get ready for work tonight, so. Uh, and he may not even let me film him, you know. He's not used to the camera on him. We normally do vlogs and stuff, just me and Winston, so. We'll see what we get into today, but I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with us and seeing part of our everyday life. Cheese. What are we having for lunch? Fried chicken. And I want to eat it too. I'll try it. <laughs> you gotta try some fried. You like chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. I'll eat them. Well, look at, look at this cool car I'm going to get. Mm -hmm. It's the sickest car in the land. Anyone else's chicken. husband really picky about toothpaste? <laughs> Okay guys, we made it back home and Luke's going to set up the fryer. So his dad gave us this huge fryer. So we're gonna try it out. He He's never home. This is a, honestly a rare occasion. So he hasn't even been able to use it. So he's gonna set it up and get it started. And he's gonna try some fried chicken. He doesn't want me to film it because he said that whenever we film it, it doesn't turn out as good. And then if we don't film it, it'll probably be awesome. So let's hope that it's gonna be awesome. But I'm gonna do the dishes, so I'll set y'all up and you can watch me do the dishes. Oh, you're doing it that way. <laughs> That's how she did it. <laughs> don't do me like that. I don't know. I don't fry chicken. Well, then don't talk. <laughs> I think 
this is good just now I'm never gonna cook it again. You did that last time you made fried chicken. Mm -hmm. It was amazing and that was what, four years ago? If you like nice crispy deep fried fries, I, I would recommend deep frying them twice. First at 350 and then do them at 375 and that second fry just makes them so good nice and crispy and delicious One chicken tender, I just cut it up. He's got ketchup. He's got some of the stars left. Um, I just took a star cookie cutter and cut out stars on the top of his quesadilla. Super cute for 4th of July idea. And then he's got some blueberries and then the red for the ketchup. So perfect, easy 4th of July lunch. Oh, did you already show him this? I did. He is ready to eat. So we're gonna let him eat, y'all. Did you season the fries? Okay, y'all, so we had lunch. It was good. Now we are going to tie dye our t-shirts. So I found this idea on TikTok, of course. <laughs> if you don't have me on TikTok, I'll, um, I do have a TikTok now. So I'll have um, my name on the screen for you guys so you can go find me there. Um, but for this, you'll need a um, spray bottle with water for however many colors you're going to do. So for ours, we're doing ours 4th of July themed. So we only need two bottles because we're going to do red and blue. So we're gonna squirt some of this paint in each of these, shake it up. Um, you can add as little or as much as you want, depending on how dark or light you want your colors. I picked up this six pack of stars. We're gonna use this to help us make a star design on the top of our shirts. And then Winston has his shirt. I had to get the Wonder Nation brand because that's all they had in white. I guess this was everybody's idea, um, you know, the summer to tie-dye. And then mine, I just got in the tie-dye section um, at Walmart also. So they haven't been washed or anything. I took the labels off of them and we are going to get them all ready to go.
So you just spray your shirts with whatever colors you pick. And um, the star design worked really good on mine because I realized that when we did Winston's, we sprayed it too, um, too saturated at the top. And so you'll be able to see in a second how the stars are a lot smaller and kind of wonky on his. Um, and so, but then you'll see on mine how it turned out better. And I didn't saturate mine as much on the top, which I did let Winston do this himself for the most part. Um, and so, you know, he was wanting to completely cover his whole shirt with paint. Um, and so I feel like if, you know, if I had a stepped in a little more, then the stars would have turned out. But y'all, he loves his shirt and that's all that matters. So they both turned out super cute and we will definitely be doing this again. Y'all, I washed them. Okay, so I let them completely dry in the sun. Once they were completely dry, then I washed them on cold water with a little vinegar and some laundry detergent and they came out just as bright as they are here in the picture. The colors did not fade. It didn't wash out anything. I was super impressed and like I said, we will definitely be doing it this way again. We loved this.
Okay guys, today got away from me, but we've had a good family day. So Luke has went and laid down. He's gonna take a nap before he heads to work. Um, we had dinner. I made Italian chicken pasta. Um, I think I already have a, a video on that recipe. If I can find it, I will link it down below for you guys. It's one of our favorite crock pot um, recipes. But um, I'm out here. I'm gonna mow the front yard today. And, and then I'll do the backyard tomorrow. I'm just too fat and I can't do it all in one day. I'm gonna be totally honest. <laughs> I just can't do it all in one day. It's too much for me. <sighs> so I'm gonna get the front yard mowed right now. I'm glad that that's over with. <laughs> that is the one job I absolutely hate. Out of all of my housewifely chores, I hate mowing the yard. But I guess it is what it is. It's done. And then tomorrow, I'll get to do the back. <laughs> oh gosh. But I am just going to sit down, chill the rest of the day, edit this video, and edit tomorrow's video. Um, and that's it. Winston's riding his bike playing outside. So hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today, seeing a part of our everyday life, but it was a little different because Luke was home. So hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Tried to get some clips in of him. He's still shy around the camera and you would think after three years, you wouldn't be, but it's this channel's all about me, not him. So you don't see a lot of him, but Hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.